Hello, my name is Kat, and <laughs> I'm going to be playing a whole set of original music, which is pretty exciting because um, when you play in bars and restaurants, you usually just play covers and never original music. They throw, throw in an original song here or there, um, but I'm going to be playing a whole hour of original music. And first I want to um, say please, please donate. Um, this week's charity is Redwood Park Communities, and if you don't know what they do, they provide affordable housing in Barrie, and so that's really important right now um, because people are struggling, and I couldn't even imagine not having a place to call home during this scary time. So please donate if you can. If, if you want something out of your donation right away, you can buy swag because all of the money goes directly to the charity, and you get to also look really cool. Um, and I want to thank Barry's Live Music Show for, hey Mark, for putting this out with it. And I of course want to thank music. Um, music has helped me so much within life and the way that I manage my emotions. And so I have lots of songs because I'm very emotional. <laughs> so music really helps me out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to play all original music. And I'm going to be sharing the stories behind them as well. So this first song I'm going to be playing is called Bittersweet. And I wrote it when I was a student. And I was in a really, I was in a pretty depressed place. And I didn't want to get out of bed. And I didn't want to go to school ever. <laughs> so I started writing this song. And it's called Bittersweet. And it's really relatable to quarantine life because... It's really hard to see the good in things and it seems like every single day is a bad day but it's a bad day not a bad life <laughs> Thank you. 
good times, but there's a lot of bad times too, and it <laughs> kind of balances out. Um, so after these couple of months, we better have some pretty fantastic times ahead. Okay, so that was bittersweet. The next song I'm going to play um, is called Royal Inn. And this song has a really funny story behind it. Um, a couple summers ago, I was asked to open for a band in Guelph called Diggle Wolf. Um, they're a really cool Aboriginal band. And um, so my friend called me up. He's like, hey, Kat, do you want to come to Guelph and open for, open for this band? It was very last minute, but I always say yes to music. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'm in. And my parents were like, oh, like, it's a long weekend. Do you have anywhere to stay? How are you going to get there? Who's going to be with you? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like all the average parent stuff. And I was like, oh, don't worry. Like, I'm going to stay with my roommates. I'm going to bus there and it'll be good. So when I was busing there, I realized the bus cost way more than what I'd be making. Then I texted my friends and they were like, yeah, we're not even in Guelph. So I didn't have anywhere to stay. So then I was looking at the hotels and, <laughs> okay, I was looking at the hotels and all the hotels were booked. So then I had to stay at this really sketchy motel downtown Guelph by myself. And I was terrified for my life, but I didn't call my parents because I didn't want them to be like, I told you so. So I, I stayed the night and the door didn't lock. So I put the microwave and all the kitchen appliances in front of the door in the hotel and I didn't sleep all night and I wrote this song instead. <laughs> it's called Royal Inn.
song is called Royal Inn. It might have been the name of the hotel, but I won't say anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, that song, a lot of artists can probably relate because um, when you love something so much, you tend to commit to things that aren't really worth it in the end, but it was worth it in the end because I got a song out of it and I didn't die. Okay, so the next song I'm going to play, thank you. <laughs> The next song I'm going to play is called um, Take Me, and I wrote this when I was working at a camping store, and my friend Kat was a cashier, and she was so passionate about wanting to move out west, and she was always outside, so I wrote this song because she inspired me. It's called Take Me. having a strong desire to travel, which we all can't do right now, so it's, yeah, <laughs> so it's called Take Me. Take Me. Um, this next song I'm going to play is called Renaissance Man. And I wrote this song also during um, the same time period when I was working at a camping store. I was surrounded by a lot of cool people um, who, led, who led different interesting lives. So um, one of them lived off grid. And I spent a lot of time there and I just realized like, living without power made me realize, oh wow, like, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I don't know what to do, like, if the power went out, and it's sort of, when COVID-19 happened, it sort of is relatable to that, too, because I was like, wow, like, it's really hard to imagine life without a grocery store, all of our necessities at our fingertips, and so, um, this song, it's quite, it's, it's, uh, it's about, like, a more simple lifestyle, it's called Renaissance Man.
music, which is exciting since I always play covers. Um, so the next song I'm going to play is called Settle Down, and I wrote this song what, four summers ago? Okay, fingers crossed that this works. My internet is very shoddy, um, so please donate if you can, and I'm going to be playing or original music. Take three. So this song is called Settle Down. And I'm going to use a foot tambourine to make it a bit more poppy. So this is an original song called Settle Down. <laughs>
<laughs> Yay, it didn't! I'm actually not gonna jinx it. My internet's been really bad. Um, so I'm playing all original music on my cat guitar because my actual cat Oreo didn't want to come and play. <laughs> um, so that song is called Settle Down. This next song I'm gonna play is called Wings. And um, it means a lot to me. It really got me through probably the hardest time in my whole entire life. Um, it's dedicated to one of my childhood best friends who unfortunately did pass away from the C word at 19. And it's called Wings. And she was the most awesome person. She was a musician and she loved life. And she really taught us to live life every day as if it's your last. And she definitely had a well, well 19 years spent, so this song is for Paige. It's called Wings. perspective to appreciate every day even though days seem crazy right now we're lucky to be here um, yeah and the chords are really cool because uh, it's in a different tuning it's in, I've, it's in Joni Mitchell style so tuning and it was um, I was inspired I was listening to a lot of Goo Goo Dolls at the time so it kind of sounds like this. so that was Wings um, next I'm going to play um, some more original music a bit more happy songs. This song is called Contagion. 
and it's not about a virus, which is good. It's about um, when you're trying to stop thinking about someone that they're just too contagious to get out of. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying this one more time. <laughs> if this stops, then I'm going to just play at a different time because my internet really doesn't like me right now. Um, so yes, I'm going to play an original song called Contagion. switched devices so hopefully this works. Um, I'm playing all original music right now and all donations go to Redwood Park Communities and now is the time to really help um, people struggling to find homes because it would be really terrifying to not have anywhere to call home right now. Um, yes, so next song I'm going to play is called, hey, it's called Coffee by the Sea. I wrote this song one morning it popped up in my head when I was brushing my teeth and I really didn't want to go to school and to trek the winter time. I just wanted to stay home and um, yeah, I just pictured being at a beach anywhere else rather than Canadian winters. So this song is called Coffee by the Sea. I hope you like it. <laughs> Salty breeze. You and me don't 
Double Double Extra Cream. extra cream. extra cream. <laughs> so that's my most Canadian song I've ever written and it's funny because I actually don't like coffee. The only way I'll drink it is if there's extra sugar and extra cream. So it's pretty much just a dessert. <laughs> um, so that is called Coffee by the Sea. Um, this next song I'm going to play is called Hands of Time, and I used to volunteer at the Roberta Place in Barrie, and I would play music for the residents there um, during their dinner, and they always wanted entertainment to even last after dinner so that people wouldn't stand up right away, and then um, there would be falls, falls would be prevented. And when I was at the Roberta Place, there was this really cute couple that still seemed so much in love. Who knows if they, behind the scenes, they were always arguing with each other, but from, a, from my perspective, they were the cutest couple. So I wrote a song about them, and they have no idea, and who knows if they're still kicking, because it was a long time ago, but um, it's called Hands of Time, if I can find it in my songbook. <laughs> It's embarrassing when you mess up your own lyrics. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Okay, I'll just sing it. Um, it's called Hands of Time. Stay. Mm -hmm. 
that song is called Hands of Time. Um, yes, so please donate to Redwood Park Communities if you can. And if you want something out of your donation, if you buy swag, all of the proceeds go to the charity. And you will also look fantastic. So, and you'll be part of something, something positive during this whole chaotic mess. Okay. Um, so I'm going to continue to play some original music. Um, this next song I wrote when I was a really angsty teenager. And it's called Running. And um, I was trying to make sense of things that just wouldn't make sense. And it's weird because nothing makes sense right now. <laughs> but it's called Running. It's, it's about trying not to run away from your problems, but it's really hard. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. couple slower songs and moody songs so I'm gonna play a happy song um, this song is called blink um, and I usually sing this song with my my friend Katie who used to be my roommate and she always wanted the song to be called <laughs> uh, fly so it's either called blink or fly one or one and one or the other whatever one you want it to be called um, and it's just about how time flies and time passes by in the blink of an eye so it's called Blink Fly. Fly Blink. <laughs>
called Blink. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I am going to play another original song. It's all originals, which is, which is kind of feels weird because music is personal. <laughs> um, but that's also the reason why it's awesome, because everyone can connect with stuff. Because we all go through a lot of the same things. Um, but this song has nothing to do with real life. Um, I was inspired by uh, a story, this classic Sandman story, um, children's story, and also I was really obsessed with um, the band The Chordettes, and they put out, they're, they're it's a pretty old band, it's in the 50s, and um, they released the song Mr. Sandman in 1958, and the music back then is just so magical and happy, and you probably know the song, it goes... Bum 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 Mr. Sandman, bring me your dream Bum 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 bum, can't think I'm the cutest that I've ever seen Bum 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 And it's about how in the story, in the children's story, it's about girls ask Mr. Sandman Oh like bring me, bring me a husband, blah blah blah, it's kind of weird But I was like cool, I'll write a song But it'll be a plot twist and instead of the girl falling in love with someone else, they want to be with the Sandman. And that's what insomnia is. So this song is called Insomnia. Reach the point of no return 
is called Insomnia. <laughs> and I wrote that when I couldn't fall asleep. My brain never shuts off. <laughs> um, so thank, thank goodness for music, otherwise I'd probably be crazy by now. Um, okay, the next song I'm going to play is called... Um, I'll play... Stay. If I can find... So this song is about loss. Um, I wrote it when my grandfather passed away at the same time as going through a breakup. So it was a very, very crappy time of life. Um, and it's called Stay. <laughs> watching. If you are still watching, please donate if you can to Redwood Park Communities. And thank you, Stephen. And um, yeah, you can also donate by buying swag. So it's a win-win. You get to help people and you get to look cool. <laughs> um, so I'm going to continue to play some original music. Um, my name is Kat, so I do all the cat puns. 
hopefully it's not getting old. <laughs> um, so I'm going to play next a song I wrote called I'm Doing Fine. And it's about, um, it's about your mind and your heart. You're trying to make a decision, but your heart isn't always the most logical. And that's the artwork I made for it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's about playing on your heartstrings. This is my songbook. So it's called I'm Doing Fine. I haven't played it in a while, but... just because the internet's been kicking kicking out and then I'll give the stage to the next runner. Um, so I'm gonna end off with um, probably my favorite song I've ever written. It's called Wallflower and it really helped me get out of a weird mental funk. I wasn't in the best place and um, writing this song sort of helped me through it. So it's called Wallflower. <laughs> Never 
original live music with Kat. Um, please donate if you can and you're still here. <laughs> and I will be back to play some more. Wallflower, um, yeah, it was inspired by plants <laughs> and just how flowers, and if you really think, think of them metaphorically, they grow through dirt and they grow through, go through a lot, but in the end it's beautiful. So hopefully, hopefully that can lift you up during this pretty dark time. Hopefully we can bloom out of this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye.